Reflecting back on my journey of the last 30 years, I feel that I have reached this point in my career because of that uh, rebellious streak in me where I tend to rebel whenever something seems to me very irrational, when other people make certain rules for me and I find that those rules do not make sense to me at all. So I say no. I think that particular characteristic of mine has taken me to where I am now. What I'm really passionate about is the work that I'm doing with the Stolen Generation survivors. When the survivors have been together and have been immersed in that environment, they have talked to each other and memories have been triggered. It has been really good as a tool for truth telling, for reconciliation and for educating their future generations. How those experiences have been put together and been recreated in the virtual reality environment. So it has been very, very heartwarming for me in that sense that something good has come out of that particular project. Since 2009, I have been taking my students every year to India. They go to India with me and we have been working with a rural remote community. So these are, you know, the little girls of that village. And it was so interesting to see how the uh, village boys were looking with strangeness and curiosity at our students, the girl students from Curtin. It was absolutely strange for them to see girls actually working on something this significant. The biggest lesson and I guess an advice that I would like to give younger girls as well is that make your own pathway. Don't follow rules set by other people. If you feel that this is your direction, that is where you want to go, just go. Have confidence in yourself and just say no to the things that don't make sense to you at all.